It said, and, the, and, and think about what I just talked about. It said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. What does that mean to you? I was always told growing up at the church that it, I, I always took it to mean the Bible, that basically in the beginning was God's Word, the will of God, and that's all that, we, all that ever needed. How about this? How about when God made, or when the gods made the world? Because they said, let us go down. The word was resonance. There was a resonant frequency that went through the cosmos that created the earth. And that resonant frequency created light. Let there be light. What was it that Edison said? That if we were to take the powers of resonance, the powers of frequencies, focus them on a certain area, and use light, we would be able to contact the other world. So if we're doing an experiment that Edison wanted to do, we're doing the same experiment that they want to do at CERN, except they're smashing stuff together. And not only that, but you look at things like the Ark of the Covenant. What was that all about? It was a, trans, it was a capacitor used as a two-way radio. Mm -hmm. And what did they do in Babylon when they wanted to communicate with God or communicate with the spirits? They built a tower, and they built it high. Now, what do we do when we want to communicate with people who are vast areas of the world build high towers or right. even launch them out and radio towers yes and we launch rockets into the sky to bring satellites and we do all of that with the powers and the resonance that exists on this planet and that's why we have people in charlie chaplin films with cell phones and all that <laughs> stuff i mean it's crazy but it's true that there is more to our living i mean we think that we have it all that we've done it all but I'm thinking that what I'm doing is I'm not doing something evil. I'm doing something to remind people that there's something more out there than just us. There may be spirits out there, mm. both living and dead, or, or that haven't been born yet, that are, that are dead or maybe haven't even been born yet, that are looking out for our welfare. And I don't see any harm in that at all. So for folks out there, who, I hope they found this interesting. So maybe who folks who follow Media Monarchy have never checked out Ground Zero Media. And again, to the folks who would say that, oh, I'm ruining media monarchy credibility by having your UFO stuff on there. I ultimately like to support alternative media that, that I enjoy. And that includes you, and that includes James Corbett, and that includes Richard Grove, and Peace Revolution, and those sort of loose collective of folks that, again, I'm not a part of any group. I don't but. feel that my credibility is lessened when I decide that I want to get people to think about things other than the crap that they are always constantly getting mm -hmm. fed. I don't make any outrageous statements that I, that I believe everything. I say, consider this. Consider the possibility. What's it going to hurt you mm -hmm. if at midnight on Halloween night, I send a signal that's through 150,000 watts of power and something does get through to the radio? Something does get through to you and you realize, wait a minute, there's something out there bigger than I am. Maybe I should start thinking about what's important and rather than have to get myself caught up in the paradigm of dancing with the stars or American Idol or... or the or, rally to restore sanity. Yeah, you know, or the rally to restore sanity or, or whether or not Sarah Palin is stupid or, or Christine O'Donnell's a witch. You know, when it really comes down to it, it's our spiritual side that we need to take care of because the apocalypse starts inside of you. Armageddon starts inside of you before it ever becomes a physical entity because the word or the resonate, the, what resonates in you comes out in your words, in your speech, in your vocabulary. And sometimes words can kill, they can hurt, they can create, you know, like they say in, in the movie V for Vendetta, ideas and words are eternal. You can't kill them. So keep in mind that it all starts in the resonant. It, it starts in your unconscious. It comes up through your conscious. You focus it. And we're going to take chaotic noise and, and, and sounds and frequencies. We're going to send them up there. And we're hoping that something organizes it in your radio. And it will. I can guarantee it. All that is coming down this weekend, my friends. It's an amazing Halloween weekend. Clyde Lewis of Ground Zero Media, thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate it. The time flies by. Well, thank you, too. And I'm hoping that you know there are people out there who, who, think, who, who think that your credibility is being damaged, that, that your credibility is never, ever going to be damaged. Because I think that what you do as a data miner and a person who reports this stuff is amazing. I'm a fan. I've been a fan from 
when I first discovered you. And, uh, you know, I really appreciate your putting my crazy ideas up there. <laughs> but still, I mean, there's a lot of method to my madness. And mm -hmm. I'm hoping I'm giving people something more to chew on than just the, the black and white. I, I think there are mm -hmm. places where you can go where you can explore the margins. And it's fun to explore the margins. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's, that's perfect for, for now. And again, yes. all these things that we're kind of staring down the barrel of. And I, you know, I have to be careful that I don't fall victim to all the crazed things that I'm sitting here looking at all the news going, oh my God, I know something stupid's going to happen this week and there's going to be some election snafu or there's going to be some dirty bomb or there's like, oh God, you know, I, I tend to worry about it because I feel like I watch the the well, memes you, enough you, to say, well, oh, you see this the is the perfect time. History is an algorithm. People say it isn't, but I think it is. I think you take a look at history and you look at what happens. I mean, heck, always remember 9-11 was on election day. It happened on an election day, mm. and uh, you know, there's no. They were electing. Uh, I think they were doing something for mayor in uh, in New York. They're uh -huh. having a special election call uh -huh. for Rudy. Yeah, for Rudy. <laughs> and this happens, and and then, you know, and so we're getting close to another election where it's very important. They always say every election is the most uh -huh. vital election of our uh -huh. life. Well, you know, we're having gunmen in, in Washington D.C. right now that are causing all kinds of trouble. And That's uh, so. Yeah. So I, I just brought the Google News page back up that we referenced at the top of the show now two hours ago, and now these stories have ballooned even larger. FBI probes packages on UPS jets. Toner unit shows no explosives. That's the scary headline. And I always remember that I had an <laughs> informant tell me that in Washington, between the, the window of the 13th and the 20th, there was going to be something that was going to happen. And what happened is we had the shootings going on at the Pentagon, uh -huh. and no one really reported all that. But then we also had that kid or that guy in Carlsbad say, this is all a drill and these are blanks. They're preparing for something, and they're, they're programming these sleepers to jump in and do the work mm -hmm. for them. And uh, you Sirhan, know, Sirhan, any of those. And if you think that that ruins his credibility by me reporting this, okay, then that's not – because I, I was right. I uh -huh. said something was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Something did happen, and mm -hmm. it's because I was informed by credible news sources that are that are credible and independent. Mm -hmm. I mean, you. My background is CNN. My background is uh, Metro News. I'm a newsman, but I entertain with the news that I entertain with, and uh, so I'm an entertainer and journalist. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't uh, make excuses for that at all because I feel that what I'm doing is important and vital to not only entertain you with ideas, but get your imaginations going, get your brains thinking outside the box, and that's what I try to do. So folks, all of this wouldn't really be possible without all of your support out there. So again, we implore you, if you find any of these alternative media outlets, whether it's myself or Clyde or James or any of them, please donate. And to think yeah. about, you know, the, the price for a virtual ticket for your event tonight, five bucks. Five bucks to have something that's going to make you think and make you wonder. And I actually or tell people... Or you could people, get a beer. Well, yeah. That's I actually tell people that zeropointradio.com, they need, they need your donations because they're doing this out of the goodness of their hearts, getting this information out from, from uh, you know, James to what I do to mm -hmm. what everybody else does. And, you know, if you feel up to, if you enjoy or are entertained by what I talk about and, uh, and you think I'm not too crazy... And you want to keep me breathing. Uh, a lot of I don't have any insurance, and a lot of my cancer bills are the things that I mean. I'm right now working from day to day to pay my cancer mm -hmm. bills anymore. And in fact, I'm actually living right now with someone who, out of the goodness of their heart, have given me a place to live because mm. both my girlfriend and I had to part our ways. Well, I mean, we love each other; we're still together, but we mm -hmm. had to part living together to afford to live. Mm -hmm. And she's got a little boy, and and so what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to rebuild my life after cancer I'm trying to rebuild everything and it's difficult to rebuild and a lot mm -hmm. of people who have cancer could probably understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about when you beat the odds there's a lot of responsibility involved and so if you like what I'm doing if you go to my website and you enjoy reading what I write if you like the shows that I do if you if you even care about what's going on I would suggest and ask humbly because I hate asking for money mm -hmm. because what I do I think everybody needs to know about but if you can like spare maybe five bucks yep. or something like, and I'm going to work with you and Tracy Twyman on a show in the future where I want to talk about the the unbelievable cost of emotion and whatever we do to mm -hmm. get this stuff out to people and how mm -hmm. it needs to be returned in kind. And I'm not saying that we're begging for anything. But what I'm saying is take into consideration the time that James puts into his shows. Take into consideration the time and effort that goes into a lot of these things we provide yep. free. And you know, and every once, and you take it, and you and you do with it what you will. But see, any more information is free, but the people that are producing it can go away. And when they do go away, yep. you'll always say, "Well, whatever happened to? Well, what happened to them was they couldn't do it. They anymore. couldn't do it anymore." 
So, my friends, we're, we're pretty much out of time here. That's, that's the word we, we want to leave with you. And again, we're all connected, whether we want to be or not. That's right. And we're all going to have to get a whole hell of a lot more connected on our own terms before yes. things get out of control and we're getting against each other on their terms. Right. Love is the answer, and I know it conquers all, and it's not some mamby-pamby thing to say or nope. only anything to say. It's love, it's tolerance, it's learning that we do have differences, but with our differences, we can find ourselves in a place where we find common ground. I call it ground zero. I've called it that since 1995, mm -hmm. and uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be on this program. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it, and I will definitely be at the event tonight. So again, folks, groundzeromedia.org, zeropointradio.com. This has been Clyde Lewis joining me in studio October 29th, 2010. This has been the 192nd episode of Media Monarchy. My name is James Evan Pilato. I'm your host and webmaster of the site and show at MediaMonarchy.com. Reminding you, as always, don't hate the media. Become the media. Take care. MediaMonarchy.com is your source for alternative news, politics, conspiracies, and cover-ups. Featuring weekly radio shows on the Portland Radio Authority, PRAradio.org, the New World Next Week video series with CorbettReport.com, plus special interview episodes, B-sites, mess tapes, and so much more. Send new tips to MediaMonarchy at gmail.com. You can make a donation or mail media to the monarchy at P.O. Box 12165, Portland, Oregon 97212. Thanks to all the internet and community radio stations who broadcast these shows and most of all, thanks to you. Remember, don't hate the media, become the media. Whether you went on with the diary, or whether you did not go up with it, made no difference. The thought police would get him just the same. Right now we'd like to continue with the conversation.